Hey Gunwadi, so there were a couple of areas where you had um, some questions on the midterm. One was about, let's see, when you first run the animation, it um, the square goes out of bounds, and then from that point on, it always stays in bounds and it bounces around nicely. So your question was, why does it go out of bounds in the beginning there? Um, well, if we um, look at, let's see, let's look at your animate method. You know, one thing I do to kind of make my code more readable is there's this handy little um, edit option where you can say auto layout and that kind of cleans up your uh, code a little bit. So anyway, so if we look at, oh no, it's the draw method, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, so if we look at your draw method, um, square animate, that's, that's where you go in and actually do your uh, your testing right for your if it's going to hit the side because that's the one I'm going to do the same thing here auto layout okay this is the one that um, does the the change position and draw and it's with the it's with change position where you do your testing right to see if we hit the side so um so that works. The, the thing is that you also have this call to um, slow move horizontal 200. And that, how big is this screen anyway? Is this the canvas. Well, anyway, uh, I have a feeling that that's, that's what's putting you off the canvas. So let's try commenting that out. And okay, so the the slow move horizontal doesn't do the check to see if you're still on the screen or not. So that's why that was happening. Um, and then the other question was about the array business, right? How do you do? Uh, animate array wasn't working for you. It was just coming up with nothing here. Oops. Um, oh, we got a null pointer exception too. So let's take a look at that a little bit closer here. So a null pointer exception basically says um, square one is a Square one points to a square object, but we never set it equal to anything. <clears throat> so um, just like you have to say a square block equals a new array list of squares, this square one has to be um, initialized to a square object. All right. So I think I'm going to, so yeah, so this is kind of, an iffy way to do things up here because these are all null basically so you're adding 10 nulls and then you're doing something and and this doesn't this this looks um, uh, iffy to me too so what I but what the way I would do this one in fact let's just forget about your that square block um, field for now and let's just make our own uh, what do we got here let's just make our own local variable because I don't want to um, add any extra difficulties in here to your code so let's make this we'll just make this a new local variable it doesn't have anything to do with that field up there and let's see what we're what we're doing here. So we're um, uh, 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 
so we're we're creating oops hold on a second I'm just looking at uh, how I uh, resolved this issue here okay so there's a couple of things going on here so one thing is every time you're inside this loop you're starting you're say, setting int n equal to 5 and then you're setting n equal to 10 so at this point at this line here n is always equal to 10 and always gets because you're resetting it each time so what you want to do, I think, because I think what you want to do is um, have the value change as you go through here. So let's paste that. Oops, let's paste that line up here. And this way, if you do it before the for loop starts, then every time you go in here, n is going to be have a bigger value. And I'm just going to, for for um, you know, time's sake. To make this video shorter, I'm just going to make this be a three. Um, but da, 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 what did I want to say? Okay, so what I would do with this is um, I would see what you can do now is just say square block uh, and new square oh actually I see no no you want to because you want to do all this stuff to it right so you so probably you want to say something like uh, this like square square equals new square um, and then, and then, and then um, let's see. I don't know if you want to do. So I, I think at this point, oh, let me let me. Uh, Auto layout. This. I think at this point, this is. I think this is kind of kind of needs to be kind of a two-step process. Like one is loading up the array, and then the other one is um, displaying the the animation. So um, what I would do is I wouldn't do my make visible here. I'm gonna, oops. I'm gonna cut that because I think what what. The best thing to do is to start off. Um, oh, is to start off putting your your um, loading up all your values, and then uh, and then do the drawing. Okay, and the other thing is. So at this point, remember we said we got that null exception. So we want to do. You can do it. This would be a good place for a for each loop. So you can say for uh, square square colon square block. So now we've got our square block loaded up with our three squares in here. Uh, and you could do this. Um, but the problem with doing it this way is that you're, um, what's going to happen is you're going to go through and take the first square and do the entire animation for that square, the whole, all the 100 steps in the animation for that square. Then you're going to go to the next square and do the entire animation for that square and so on for the three squares. So it's not going to look quite like what we want. Oh, what happened here? Oh, yeah, because I want this to just be square. So, paste, 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 and paste. Let's see. Okay, that looks okay. 
So this is like so like I was saying, this this is not going to be quite what you want because you're going to go through the entire animation. Let me see if I can show it up here. Let me get rid of this and bring back up the. This thing here. Okay, so if we try running it now, I don't know if it's going to actually show anything to me. Oh. Yeah, it looks like it's not showing anything at this point. Okay. Oh, because we didn't, I think we took out the. Uh, oh no, the animate should take care of the visible right oh yeah yeah we didn't add so we're making all these squares but we didn't add them to the square block we need to add each of those squares into the square block let's see if that's something wrong here, yeah, let's see. Mm. So I added all the squares. I do the animate. For each square in the square block. Let me just put a so at this point, I should have, let's see, I'm going to put a little breakpoint there to debug. And try again. Okay, so we are getting in here. There is something that we're trying to animate in here. There is a square. So if we go... Um, so here's the debugger. If we step into that we have steps is 100 we go into change oh are we visible at this point let's see if is visible Oh, we have his visible as false at this point, so that's why we're not drawing anything. So I'm going to hit terminate. Oh, so, so the call to animate itself. Oh, I see. The call to enemy itself doesn't make things visible. So one thing we could do is we could just put a make visible in here. Well, no, you know what? I don't want to start messing with your square thing too much. Let's just do this. Let's say, because like I said, even if we got this working, it would do, you don't want it to do the whole animation f for one square and then the whole animation for the other. You want it to move one square a little bit, then the next square a little bit, then the next square a little bit. So it looks like they're all three moving at the same time, right? So what we really want to do is more something like um, make visible and square. And do, you know, do our, and then do our change position here. Um, does that work? Yeah, so let's try, let's try that. Because then that way, like I said, you're moving each one a little bit at a time. Oh, but this is only going to do one move, right? We need to do, if we're going to have an animation of 100 steps, we have to do something like this. Okay, let's see if that compiles. Oh, I forgot my. Okay. Let's see what we got here. There we go. So that looks like what you want. And if you want to make it more squares, 
then um, you know you just instead of three you make that whatever number you want that to be all right so um, you really did a terrific job on the midterm so that you know that's why I'm I'm, I'm, I'm uh, giving you all of this so um, I hope that I hope that helps. If you have any any more questions about this stuff, um, let me know. But if you go ahead and make those changes, I'm I'm happy to give you a, an A plus. I, I feel like you know you you worked hard. You did a good job. Okay. Uh, and like I said, if you have any more questions, then just let me know.